All right, problem number 27 of section 2.7 asks us to evaluate this limit. Uh, limit as t goes to zero of sine of 5t over sine of 10t. Uh, the first thing we're going to do here is um, throw in a couple extra pieces to this. Um, see that we know how to evaluate the limit if it were limit as t goes to zero of sine t over t, but we've got something a little bit different here. So let's try rewriting this uh, as the limit as t goes to zero. Now the first part we can say, you know, sine of 5t over 5t, and we would know how to evaluate that. And similarly, if we wrote um, sine of 10t, or 10t over sine of 10t there, uh, we would know how to evaluate that part. And then, you know, the limit of the product is equal to the product of the limits, and, uh, and the limit of the reciprocal is equal to the reciprocal of the limit. So we know how to evaluate everything there. The only problem is this is no longer an equality, since now we have you know, 10t over 5t. t is cancel out, but we end up with a 2 there that we don't want. But if we multiply by 1 half, we can keep this all in an equality. So if we rewrite this a little bit, we'll pull the one half to the outside. We have the limit as t goes to zero of sine of 5t over 5t times 10t over uh, sine of 10t. And we see that um, each part of the limit just goes to 1. This here goes to 1. Now there also goes to 1. So the limit is actually just 1 half times 1 or just 1 half. Uh, 